Getting to iron and vintage story is a pretty serious step, because now you can pretty much stop worrying about your tool's durability, you get to craft decent armor and just feel strong enough to enjoy the full potential of the game. There are different types of iron ores that you can find, such as hematite, lemonite, magnetite and meteoric iron. For me, meteoric iron has the fanciest texture and hematite gives the biggest dopamine spike when you find it in a cave. It almost feels like you've won this life. But come on, other ores are alright too. So suppose you just found some iron ore using your prospecting pick or just being lucky. You've broken that ore into nuggets and what now? How do you even smelt that? You can't smelt iron in the crucible, so you need something stronger, like a bloomery. It consists of two parts, such as a bloomery base and a bloomery chimney, which can be crafted from fire clay bricks. Just collect four stacks of fire clay to craft one stack of fire bricks and get ready to fire all that in your pit kilns. You'll need quite a lot of grass, sticks and firewood to fire 12 bricks at a time in a pit kiln. But eventually, once it's cooked, you can craft your bloomery base and a bloomery chimney. Now stock up your iron there with a maximum of 120 nuggets and add 6 charcoal or black coal, set this thing on fire and wait for it to cook. After a day or so, when the smoke stops, just break the bloomery with your pickaxe, some bricks will be lost, so you'll have to rebuild it again for further use, but now you get a bloom which you need to fine tune and get your clean iron ingots. Craft a forge from some cobblestones if you don't have it yet and add your bloom and a few charcoal there to heat it up. Once your bloom is nice and hot, hold the tons in your left hand and grab that iron bloom, place it on the anvil and use your hammer to remove the ugly bits and shape an ingot. It's all hard and manual labor, man. But you can also kinda semi-automate the process if you build a windmill and get your auto hammer running on the wind power, because this bad boy can craft ingots and plates for you. However, if you feel like the process is annoying anyway, then try to survive 11 ingots of iron to craft your pickaxe and an iron anvil. For the iron anvil you will need 10 iron ingots, 5 for each part, the top and the bottom, as well as some borax. You can find the borax somewhere on the surface, it kinda resembles the quartz bits. You can also stumble upon it in the cave or simply buy it from some merchant. Start smithing your iron parts and it will take roughly 15 to 20 IRL minutes, sometimes they will get cold, so you'll need to heat them up again in the forge. When the two parts of the anvil are ready, it's time to glue them together. Place the bottom part on the floor and add your ground borax on top and place the top part. Smash it with a hammer a few times and here you go, your iron anvil is ready. Unless you haven't used the grinder or quern before, you need to dig 4 clean granite, erudite or andesite rocks, so basically just dig all the blocks around the one you wanna drop, and if it's not touching any other blocks with its sides, it's gonna collapse under the gravity, and drop the clean block. Use 4 of these along with 2 sticks and make a quern. Drop your borax there and spin that mill to grind it and make the borax powder. So what was annoying about the iron blooms again? Ah yeah, the fact that you need to clean the ingots. But if you manage to find meteoric iron, which you can spot either on your map, just look for nicely shaped circles or stare at the ground and try to search for it. Sometimes you'll find the meteoric iron bits in these circles, but sometimes you don't, so just check anyway if there is zuvit underground. If there is indeed zuvit, then dig the top layer a bit more, because you need to find meteoric iron blocks. Get these blocks with your iron pickaxe and gather the bits that you will have to drop in the bloomery, similar to how you did with the regular iron. Load it up again and when that cooks you will get the clean ingots instantly, so there is no need to mess around with the bloom. That's pretty much how you conquer the iron age. Isn't it time to become really OP and make that steel?